Hi, and welcome back to another video. I honestly wasn't going to film another one today, but after building their new house and um, just going in, I just, I couldn't help myself. So um, I just did a video earlier today um, giving them their new house. Um, I also, off camera, updated their appearances a little bit. I um, aged up Eric a little bit, so I gave him some more wrinkles in his face, but I also took away the really harsh, um, like, dark um, lines under his eyes, because I feel like he's starting to finally, you know, feel a little bit better, um, and so I wanted to eliminate that. Um, I gave Alyssa some more outfits, and then I gave Callie so a new hair and just a few little other outfits. I didn't change her up too much. I'm going to kind of wait until she is an adult, a young adult to do that. She's supposed to be at school today, but um when I got um when I got done working on them in cast, she just came back home. So I guess she's going to be home for the day, which I was I wasn't expecting. Um but in the meantime, I'm actually going to just have, um, I'm going to have uh, Alyssa work on her flower arrangement. She is a gardener, so, um, she, well, she's a botanist. Um, she's a flower arrangement person. What are flower arrangement people called? I'm not sure, but that is what she does, and I think it really suits her, and She's so cute with her little pregnant belly. I'm so excited. Um, in case you didn't watch the um, build video, I absolutely love this house. It's not completely full. There's still lots of room for decorating and stuff. But this kitchen is everything. I really wanted to like make this kitchen that like you can really tell that both Alyssa and Callie like went in together and decorated it together. So that's why there's like different colors and different rugs and stuff in here and a lot of pink because that is um, Callie's favorite color. Just a cute little dining table in the middle. I'm waiting until we have um, the baby to add more stuff in here and kind of expand it. I'll, I'm sure I'll talk more about this uh, build in the video, but it was a little bit of a tight squeeze and it took me absolutely forever to figure this out but i finally have like everything planned out up here and i don't know i just really like this house it's 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 kind of weird but i don't know i think it turned out really cute um and they still have like a lot of money left i i was like really shocked by how much money we had left when i was um building i wasn't expecting to even really have much or be able to do this much with the house at all. Kaysen's also over because I was taking some pictures with him, but who's listening to talk radio? I'm gonna turn off the talk radio. Um, well, since Kaysen and her are apparently skipping school together, I do want to have... Oh, she just walked in on her dad bathing. <laughs> um, technically... Um, she will not be going to prom, but I do want her to ask him to skip prom with her. I don't think they'll be going to prom, though. They age up on, well, she ages up on Friday, so that will not be happening. But I do want to at least do this. Oh my god! Why is he pressuring me? What is going on? <laughs> you know what? Um, I don't want to actually break up with him. I think I'm going to do the, like, temporary separation thing just because I do want to, um, she's, she's going to be a little bit irritated that he was just Why? mean to her. Um, I can't believe he did that, though. They're still both super flirty, though. I literally can't stop them. <laughs> I'm on here trying to ruin their relationship, and they're just, like, happily in love with each other. I will say, though, 
I think once um Kaysen's, like gets a little bit older, I will be changing his mean trait. He does have a mean trait right now, but I am planning on changing that um, and having him just kind of slowly work on himself as he gets older. I'm going to take a photo. Hello? Look at this ugly little picture. And then... Oh, she likes photography. That's so cute. And then let's just... Let's list it on Plopsy, I guess? But I don't know what to do. Um, Since they're all home, since she's skipping school today, I'm going to have her go ahead and do her homework. Um, I think she's doing it in the bathroom. Can you please go sit at the table and do your homework? <sighs> Let's not bother him while he's doing his work. I think after that I'm going to have her come out and paint because this is absolutely gorgeous. So I really want her to work on that. And she's not happy about the conversation they just had either. I want to say that because Callie and Kaysen are both relatively young and very hot and cold, the whole argument they just had in the kitchen was enough for Callie to just be like, well, if you're going to treat me like that, then I don't really want to be around you today. And it's, it's not going to go very well. Um... <laughs> it's just a temporary separation they'll end up getting back together again but um I'm gonna send him home oh he's really upset yeah they're gonna have to work on their relationship um oh my gosh he's going in on her he's so upset <laughs> well, that went really poorly. Um, they're separated for now. Um, they will be getting back together. It's going to take some time, though, because that was a lot. Because I did that, I am going to say that she did that because she did... And it would have been a lot worse if she had actually broken up with him. Oh my gosh, that went so poorly. Well, I want to read the little moodlet that came up. Callie and Kaysen are now separated. This status represents a potentially temporary break in the relationship. Callie can let things drift and eventually decide to give up or fight for it and try to save this love. Yeah, I mean, they're going to get back together, um, but it'll just take some time. I mean, I don't know how much time, but join an after-school activity. I don't know how to do this one because she's not in an after-school activity, so does that mean she has to quit her job? That kind of sucks, but I am going to have her quit her job. Um, and do an after-school activity, I guess, until Friday, so she can declare an enemy rival. That's really frustrating, though. And she's in such a bad mood, too. She's up here, here having a little nap. He's over here just... Who said what to you? Kaysen wants to be added to your friends list. May is going in so hard on him. 
I'm going to add Case in just because I want to see what happens. Um, she's having a rough day, poor thing. I wonder if she can make any posts. I don't want to say she's desperate, but she's definitely a little desperate. <laughs> but, I don't know. She's wishy-washy, very in and out, boob swings, the whole nine yards. I'm going to have her lounge in the kiddie pool. And then once she's done with her homework, I forgot to put wallpaper on here. But I will fix that later because whenever I enter build by mode, my game slows down so much. But, I don't know. I think... Um, I'm gonna go out with all three of them and go get something to eat in a little bit, so I'll see you soon. Alright, so we're back at home and it is literally dark out because we were at the restaurant for so long. Which is so annoying because I wanted to get so much more done with the day. We got there at 3 o'clock. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go and discover the birth ba the baby's birth gender together let's go to the doctor maybe so we're gonna go discover it i'm i oh he did not go with her that kind of sucks um and i don't think i have my gynecologist one installed still so I think she's just going to go take care of that on her own. And then while she's gone doing that, I'm going to have her come and eat some leftovers because we didn't get to eat anything at the restaurant. Because we never got our food. So we're eating leftovers today. <laughs> Don't use the grill. Just come, come get some leftovers. The fridge is full. Where's Callie eating? Oh, she wanted to sit- Whoa! She wanted to sit in here with her dad. That's so cute. I wish there was, like, um, a sleepover, uh, event where you could invite your friends over and just have them sleep at your house. We literally have one day to try to meet a rival. We have one day. I had no idea that um, we had to uh, join an after-school activity for this. Um, oh, for this aspiration, I had no idea. A baby girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh cute. Oh, cute. She's gonna let him know that she oh cute Shobaba? I love that she's just like sitting there listening they're all talking together she's gonna I feel like it's very obvious that she's pregnant but she's never told her directly so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna announce the birth baby's birth gender and she's so excited. Oh, she got a sentiment from it too. With that, I am going to have Callie head to sleep a little bit early because she's super tired from not going to school this morning. So I'm going to have her go to bed. And I will... See you guys in the morning. All right, so we're back with Callie. She's at school today. Um, she's just ta taking, doing class. She's feeling flirty because Johnny's in her class, by the way. Um, I am really curious to know, like, 
I wish I knew if anyone else really wanted her with Johnny. I'm really hard into Kaysen because I kind of like their dynamic, and Johnny was really mean to her. Like, he doesn't have any mean traits or anything, but he just rejected her so many times that it, like, kind of threw me off, so... That's part of the reason why I ended up leaning so hard into Kaysen, because I didn't really like the way that Johnny kept rejecting her. Um, which is fine, like, he doesn't have to like her, but, so I just kind of moved on. Um, but that being said, she had a really tense moodlet last night while she was sleeping about her relationship with Cadence. I mean, not Cadence, Kaysen. Um... The student body is trying to organize a talent show. Callie thinks this would be a great opportunity to show off her comedy skills. Oh, we all know about her comedy skills. <laughs> Callie's friends constantly tell her she's funny, so why not expand her audience? Should Callie sign up? She totally would. Oh, it went well. Talk about comedy gold, Callie was hilarious and received a standing ovation. The students will be talking about that llama joke for weeks. Oh, good for her. She is kind of funny. <laughs> but, um, in any case, she had a super tense moodlet about her relationship with Kaysen, and she didn't know where it was going last night. And then she also asked um, Alyssa for advice about someone not texting her back quick enough. And so I think she's really, like, stressed out about this whole situation and, like, really doesn't know what to do because she likes Kaysen so much. And, like, yes, it went really fast and it is a very fast-moving relationship. But she also got this want to ask about his day. So it's just, like, there's so many little things that she wants to do and I didn't really tell her to, like, as much as, um... I was vying for them to get back together. I haven't cheated their relationship since the argument or anything like that. Um, it's completely in their own volition. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful that it'll go in the right direction. I'm going to have her come and talk to Johnny. Ask him about his day. And I think we're going to... Oh, he's angry. I don't know if this is a good idea and um she does have cheerleading practice today it is our last day to try to get a rival um which is a little concerning i don't really know how we're gonna manage to do that so quickly because i genuinely had no idea we needed to do that for our aspirations so now i'm a little bit stressed um because i want her to be able to complete it I didn't know she had to be in an after-school activity, otherwise I would have had her as a cheerleader this whole time, but it never really fit her, so I didn't think about it. Also, she is extremely bored right now. She also hung out with Molly a little bit this morning. I feel like I've been neglecting Molly with the whole boy thing. Callie, I will say, is definitely the kind of person to um, forget about her friends when she's uh, in a relationship with someone, though, so very, like obsessed with whoever she's with and does not pay attention to those around her so i'm just gonna have her keep playing games on her phone to try to fill up her fun need and then i don't know i'll try to find something for her to do the only issue is like it takes sims forever to get anywhere so it's kind of pointless Oh, you know what she has, actually. You just whip this out. I forgot she had this in her inventory. I forgot she was so spoiled. She has two computers. <laughs> I'm also kind of trying to figure out what to do for her. Um, once she moves out, I'm thinking... I, oh my god, everyone is getting in my way. I think um, I might... <laughs> I might take her to university. I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to see where that goes. I want to work on her skills a little bit before she goes, but um, I would love to bring her to university and just kind of branch off in that direction and maybe have like two separate parts. So like following Callie and then switching back over to the main house and like 
you know, seeing what's going on there every once in a while and seeing how the new kid is doing, her little sister. I don't know. I'm pretty excited um, to see where this goes because I really like this family. I kind of did them as like a one-off thing, but I ended up becoming really fond of them. So I love them a lot. I love how fast video games fill up their fun also. That makes my life so much easier. Well, Johnny's talking to her again. I mean, they've always been pretty good friends. Just, um... It's complicated, you know? I should probably try to actually sell this for... proper price. I want to get this stupid outfit out of my inventory. I could always give it to someone. You know what I should do? Oh, I can sell it, but I wanted to give it to Molly. But I don't know where she is. Because it would look really cute on Molly. Here she is. Let's delist it. And then after school today, we'll give it to her during the um, football thing today. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like time went by so fast. And because I'm not just focusing on high school in this, I kind of want to... Um, have like a plan for what to do next because genuinely like if this wasn't if this was a high school playthrough i don't think i would have let them her age up <laughs> part of me kind of wishes i didn't but worldwide snacks it's always exciting an exciting class for callie when food is involved me too i always loved it like when we had like cooking classes and stuff or like had snacks Oh my gosh. The assignment requires everyone to bring in a food or decorations for their presentation. If Callie chooses food, she would have to make it from scratch. Unsure from her ability to cook, which option is the best? Cook something. Callie is surprised by her own ability to cook. It was a delicious and on it was delicious and authentic. A class favorite. Good. Oh, she's feeling tense again. I think it's um Yep. Callie is concerned about her romantic relationship at the moment. Will they get back together or split up forever? What should she do? This is the mood that she had last night while she was sleeping. And she's also panicking because Johnny's in the room. <laughs> but with that, the school day's ended, and I think she's going to go over to cheerleading practice. Oh, uh, oh bless. And she did a really good job also. But yeah, I think she's going to head over to cheerleading. Um, and hopefully, cross my fingers, she meets someone there. Because uh, I don't know what to do <laughs> if she doesn't. She's just kind of standing here awkwardly. Well, this is The Sims, I guess. Two, one... Is she gonna go? Yep, it glitched out. So her activity glitched out. Um, and so she won't be able to go to uh, cheerleading practice. Because that's just what happens. Um, so she was unable to go to cheerleading practice, which is really frustrating. Um, oh, Bridget. Wow, Johnny. See, this is why I didn't want to be with Johnny. He is so mean to her. For what, dude? Molly's a real one. She she hung through about everything. Can't believe that. Um, but that being said, I think that she's going to send Kaysen a little message. And I, I think she's going to head over and go to talk to him. Um, let's change first. Because I will say, like... Like I said um, before, she is like young and pretty impulsive and makes bad decisions. I mean, it happens when you're a teenager. And she definitely regrets just breaking up with him over an argument that they had. Oh my gosh. Alyssa, take care of yourself, girl. She just make hot dogs. That's so cute. She's so cute, man. Where's Eric? Watching TV. 
He hasn't even gotten dressed yet. Get dressed, Eric. Eric, get dressed. <laughs> All right, Callie's dressed. I'm actually going to have her change into a different hot weather outfit. One of her new ones. We'll change into one of her new outfits. And then we are going to head over to the park with Kaysen and have a little talk. All right, we're at the park with Kaysen, and he's dazed, as, you know, my sims always are. And they're just having a little talk. I'm trying to figure stuff out. And she feels really bad about everything yesterday. Um, she already wants to flirt with him. She's the worst. <laughs> I wanted to see if there was... They just spoke about marriage. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to have the makeup and she wants to make out with him and talk about marriage. He just openly spoke to her about marriage. Like... <laughs> when you... <laughs> what the heck is going on? And they're both so flirty. Can you go away? Random NPCs really be upsetting me. I can't believe they moved on so quickly. Holy crap. It li he literally showed up and was like, yeah, we should totally get married one day. Like, <laughs> She wants to kiss him on her own. Oh my gosh. This this girl's really just in my way. Like for real. I Is this like an act of dominance? Are you just kissing him in front of her to show that he's yours? <laughs> what is going on? I wanted to have this whole story moment, you know, where they make up and they sit down and are like yeah, so you want to get married one day? Like, you guys literally just broke up yesterday. I wanted you to have a conversation. Oh. They're just two peas in a pod now. Oh my god. That literally, like, didn't take long at all. I... She can exchange promise rings with him? Oh my god. These two. Fill a box? Ah, kangaroo. Ah! Oh, chumbi beyondor. They're so funny. I love these two so much. What, what the heck? Well, in any case, um, they made up uh at the speed of sound actually. It literally took nothing. The only issue I'm having is I'm not sure how to have them, like, get back together after the separate- Oh, here it is! Um... Oh, here it is! Oh my gosh, I totally didn't see this stuff. She's just gonna be like, you know, like, I, we are really good together, and I'm really sorry, um, for everything that happened yesterday. Let me cancel this. And it canceled everything. Oh. Oh. But she's just gonna be like, you know, um, we are a really good match to be that 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 is to be determined by the way we'll see if there's a, they're an actual good match as adults and she's gonna apologize for everything yesterday and just be like you know like i'm so sorry about um everything oh 
I wonder how to like get them back together properly. Because they're obviously they're fine. Um, what is this? Oh, he's only twenty percent ready to reconcile. Apparently, you guys are just kissing each other and talking about marriage, but I'll just um. <laughs> I'll just, you know, go through the motions. This is a new part of a mod to me, so this is very fresh. I didn't know I had to do all this, otherwise I would have been doing this the whole time. But, um... But they get along just fine. I'm, They'll be together, back together by the end of the night. Oh, you! I hate the whole hugging glitch. Thirty percent. I wonder if she can just be like, "Hey, can we do this again?" Because I feel like this is more so for like um, couples that are a little bit older and have actual problems. <laughs> Staring apart helped me figure out how much I still love you. We can figure things out together. And they're back together again. No one's shocked. Talk about marriage again? Look, these two are insane. Oh, he rejected her this time. And then he joked about it. Oh. <laughs> These two are too much for me. They're so hot and cold in their interactions. Are you telling me you can talk to me about marriage and then I bring it up and you get all awkward? Well, in any case, um, they're back together. Um, I... That was really strange. I think to end the night... I'm gonna. Ha I forgot I had headline effects off this whole time, because I was taking pictures. I'm gonna have them go here together, and we're gonna try to get them to ride on it. These two are so cute, though. I, they're hilarious because they're very team relationship. It's it's great. I actually am a very big fan of how much they're like <laughs> stereotypical teen relationship, like hot and cold making promises they definitely shouldn't be promising, very infatuated with each other, making up in a matter of minutes. I cannot believe they made up so fast. I mean, they got, they broke up for a really petty reason, but I want to see if she can ride it she can't ride it she can only mess around with him in here she can't ride it with him he's hungry what's this oh she's so cute that's a really cute townie that's like a random sim generated npc she's so cute I wonder if anyone will make, like, um, a mod at any point that makes these actually, like, s viewable on the inside. Like, I'm really curious. I also just really want to see- oh, Alyssa just texted us about getting home soon. Ah. Oh, she's going in for it. I really want to see this animation, though, so these two wild childs are- Child's children are about to go woohoo on the. Oh. Wow. That's what it's all about, huh? Do they just know, like, whenever someone's woohooing, so they start firing off, um. <laughs> firecrackers whenever there's someone woohooing on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> oh my god. 
they're a riot. And then after this, she's gonna head home just because it is almost her curfew. And she's a good girl. She's really hungry too. And the two of them have made up, so. All right, we're back at home and Alyssa's making hot dogs again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god she's in labor <laughs> eric wake up she was just in second trimester yesterday holy crap well her and eric are off to the Eric, if you don't wake up right now, I don't care if you're angry. Go with your girlfriend so she can have her baby. Alyssa's still on her way home. Stop being mad. Over some internet trolls, Eric? Seriously? Oh my gosh, they're having the baby. Um, <sighs> what should her name be? I'm really bad at with names, so I'm going to just randomize it. These are both K names. Oh, Hunter. That's cute. Mm, baby Hunter. Oh, that's so cute. I liked Bria a lot, too. I might go with Bria. Autumn. I've decided. Her name is Autumn. Um, I think I'm going to do a hyphenated name. Oh, I have to find caps. If I got either of their names wrong, I did not. Baby is here though. Baby is here. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, on that note, uh, oh my gosh, my camera control is whack right now. On that note, uh, that's the end of the episode. We just had a baby. That happened so fast. Holy crap. So much happened. Um, we broke up and then made back up with Kaysen in two days, and we had a baby. Um, we have a new house, new makeovers, so much in one episode. I don't even know how to handle it. <laughs> that being said, I will see you guys in the next video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!